How to do email marketing on ClickFunnels 2.0 Now ClickFunnels recently introduced a lot of new email marketing features which I want to go over. I will firstly talk about how to import contacts, then I will show you how to actually set up email campaigns and then I will show you how to do email automation. The first step of the process which is signing up to ClickFunnels is actually super easy. All you have to do is head over to eliaskrauser.com slash ClickFunnels. Now this is basically my personal link which will always get you guys the best deal out there. And right now you even get a 14 day free trial just for using my link. So once you have clicked on my link you will have to select the plan that you want. In my case I'm going to go with the pro plan and then you will have to click on start free trial. Then you will have to put in your full name and your email address and you will have to click on continue. Right here you will then have to put in all your personal information and once you are ready you can click on start my free trial. Now if you have any contacts you can actually import them um, by simply just navigating to contacts right here. And right here you can then either add your contacts manually or you can also simply just import your contacts from a CSV file. Yeah. Now because I don't have an example file which I can use I will just quickly add some contacts manually so that we can afterwards use them. Now once you have added your contacts you can navigate to marketing and right here you will actually have to put in some personal information and um, now this is required by law so you you have to put in your name and address which is also going to be displayed on your emails. So I'm just quickly going to fill this out and once you have added your personal information you will have to add a footer text which is going to say unsu unsubscribe. Now this is just basically once again required by law so that people can actually unsubscribe from, from your emails. You can also hide the Powered by ClickFunnels badge which I like to do because it makes the emails look way more professional. Then you will have to set all of your system email addresses um, which I'm just quickly going to do. I'm, I'm just going to use the default emails. You would obviously have to set your own custom emails. For me this is just going to be no reply at eliaskrauser.com. Um, then I'm just going to press on save and once you have set your contacts we can get started with email marketing. Now first of all let me actually show you how to set up email templates. So simply just navigate to email templates right here and then click on create template right here. Then you will have to give this a name. For me I'm just going to name this YouTube tutorial and then I'm going to click create template. Alright and here you can customize your emails. You can just use this drag and drop editor. So for example I will start off with a title uh, which, which is going to say something like um, thank you for subscribing. And you can customize this by using the settings on the right. As you can see you can make it larger. You can also change the color. I actually don't really like this kind of gray color. So I'm going to go with black. And then you can also change the font. I will change it to Tahoma, I think. Uh, and then you can also mess around with all of these text settings, which I'm, I'm not going to cover right now because they're pretty self-explanatory. And you can basically just mess around with this. For example, if you want to add an image, then you can also do that. Just simply drag it on the email and then you can, for example, upload uh, an image to your email. It is as simple as that, basically. You can also Let's for example say that you now want to divide your email. So I will just drag this right here. And then we can for example add some text. Um, and now you could write something like I am thankful that you have subscribed and so on. I think you get the hang of it. This is pretty self-explanatory and I don't want to waste your time. So I will just leave this as it is for now. Uh, and if you have any questions you can just leave them down below and I will try to answer them as, as soon as possible. So I'm just going to click on save and exit now. Alright so once you've created this email you can actually use it for quite a lot of things. So for example you could use it for email campaigns. Now email campaigns are actually called broadcasts in ClickFunnels. I don't know why but you can for example you can create broadcast. And then you can just select previous emails right here. I'm sorry, you can select my templates right here. Then you can select the template. And now you can do some customization to this. So for example, let's say, um, let's do a simple email um, and write something like, have you thought about improving your productivity? 
uh, and then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to write something with the new notion habit tracker you can track all of your habits and save hours worth of time every week okay so this will basically just work as a marketing email and i will actually also add a button to this and this button is going to say something like improve your life okay this is just an example obviously you would have to customize this change the color to something like like this i think yeah i think kind of a dark blue could work and now we could, for example, set a redirect link. So we could redirect all the people that are going to click on the button um, to my own sales funnel, for example. Yeah. And once you're done customizing this, you can click on save and exit. And now you can give this broadcast a name. I would just type in Notion Habit Tracker. Um, then you can select who you want to send this to you can for example create a filter um, you can check email addresses and so on you can set the from email and you can set the subject line so for example let's say something like hey do you want to improve your life now this now this should be something which uh, gets the people clicking on your email uh, and you can also set the sending options. So if you want to immediately send out this email, then you will just have to select this, but you can also set it to later. So you can set the send date and the send time and the time zone. Now, one thing which I actually don't really like about ClickFunnels email marketing tool is that you can't really do that much of customization in terms of hey and then the name, which you can do on a lot of other email marketing providers. Um, so if you want to learn more about email marketing and if you want to use an, in my opinion, better email marketing provider, then make sure to watch this video right here. Now, anyways, we're going to keep going and then you can click on schedule broadcast so that this broadcast is going to be sent out. Now for this video, I will just click on discard because I don't actually want to spam these people. All right, and now you know everything about broadcasting ClickFunnels, but let me actually show you how to create email automations, which are being called workflows inside ClickFunnels. I don't know why they have fancy names for everything, but you will just have to click on workflows right here, and then you will have to click on add new workflow. Now let's, for example, say that on this workflow, on this email automation, I want to promote my Notion habit tracker. And this can only run one time per contact. Um, and then I'm going to click on create workflow. And now we can actually get started customizing our email automation. Now we can first of all set a trigger and the trigger will basically just work as a starting point to trigger all of the emails that are going to be sent out. And right here you can actually set an event type. Now I like to use opt-in and I've beforehand created a funnel called Notion Habit Tracker that, that actually gets the email from potential customers. So I'm going to select that funnel right now. And I'm also going to select the page, which in this case was the sales funnel. And then I'm clicking on create, and then I'm going to click on create trigger. All right, and now whenever someone is going to visit my funnel and is going to put in their email, this workflow is going to be triggered. So to get started, I'd like to first of all, create an welcoming email, which you can do by simply just uh, clicking on, on the plus right here and then clicking on send email. Then we could, for example, use some of our own templates, which actually comes in handy because, because we've already made a thank you for subscribing template, which I'm going to choose right now. And I'm going to type in thank you for subscribing as a name and also as a subject. And I'm going to set the from address. Then I'm going to click on create. And now whenever someone is going to put in their email right here, they're first of all going to get and thank you for subscribing email. And now, for example, let's say that after some time, maybe some days, I want to send out a second email that is going to promote my product right here, which we can do by clicking on plus and then on delay. So let's, for example, say that after one day, I want to remind the person that have subscribed to my newsletter um, that they can still buy the product, right? So I'm going to click uh, delay by one day. I'm going to click on create. And now there is a delay of one day. And after this delay, I want to send out an email. So let's, for example, say that I want to use 
um, any of, of these templates that ClickFunnels actually offers. Maybe I want to use this one right here. So I'm just going to um, select that one. And then I'm just going to name this reminder to buy Notion template. Um, and then I'm going to type in something like, are you sure you don't want to get started improving your productivity? Um, as a subject, basically, I'm going to set the from address and I could obviously also set the pre-headline um, and then I'm just going to click on create. Okay, now the email got created, but it got added right here. So I will just have to drag it under the delay button. And now after someone is going to sign up at our funnel, they're going to get a thank you for subscribing email. And after one day, they're going to get a reminder to buy the Notion template, which we can, by the way, also edit right here. So for example, let's, let's say that we want to customize this to our Notion templates, uh, which obviously makes sense. So I'm going to mm, change the image right here. I'm going to instead upload my habit tracker and we could also edit all of the text right here, which I'm not actually going to do right now because I think by now you will get the hang of it. So once you're ready and once you have successfully customized your email, you can click on save right here. Now, before you click off, make sure to watch the complete ClickFunnels guide right here if you want to learn even more about ClickFunnels.